Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade exponential logarithmic expo logarithmic equation. We have e to the power log x equals 10 to the power ln x, and we're going to be solving for x values. All right, let's get to work. And at the end, I am planning to also show you a graph of what is going on. Okay, but that's going to be for later. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this equation. Now, we have e to the power log x. Log x, for those of you who are not familiar with previous videos, this means log with base 10, okay? And this means log with base e. So we kind of switched the numbers around, I did. If we didn't switch the numbers around, like if we wrote or if we switched these numbers around, 10 to the power log x, equals e to the power ln x. How would you solve this equation? Well, both of these are equal to x. Then would it be all real numbers because it's always satisfied? Yes and no, not all real numbers, but most of them uh, because x satisfies this equation, but ln x and log x must be well-defined, so x must be positive. This is a must, so only satisfied for positive real numbers. Make sense? Okay, but that's not the equation we have. It's just an oversimplified version of this problem. This could probably be a short solve this equation. It's always true, but x must be positive. Boom, done. 10 seconds. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the actual equation. We have e to the power log x back to reality equals 10 to the power ln x. They're kind of switched. What should I do? Okay, let's see. I could probably log both sides, couldn't I? Let's do it. Log e to the log x equals log 10 to the power ln x. Alrighty. What can I do next? And by the way, let's call this first method because that's going to be the first method. All right, so let's go ahead and bring these down, bring these down. You know, the rule we use this so many times, right, these days. Log x times log e equals ln x times log 10. Wow, interesting, right? Okay, so what are we going to do next? Hmm. We could try to use some formulas. And the helpful formula here is going to be change of base. Let's go ahead and use it. How do you use change of base? Well, if you have log b with base a, you can write it as ln b over ln a. Let me just show you ln version because I'm going to use ln here. So let's go ahead and take this and then turn it into base e. So log x can be written as, oh, what happened? ln x over ln 10 because the base is 10 here. Notice that. Times log e equals ln x times log 10. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the ln x and we're going to have numbers that are equal to each other. Well, that's that's not good. Don't make the ln x disappear. Instead, put them together on the same side. So subtract, in other words. So let's go ahead and do this. ln x times, maybe I can write it as log e over ln 10 minus ln x times log 10 equals 0. Now, since I have ln x as a common factor, let's factor it out. We're going to get log e over ln 10 minus log 10 equals 0. From here, I get two results. ln x is equal to 0, and that means x is equal to 1. Hopefully, that's going to work. The other one, if you set it equal to 0, notice that these are numbers. What happens if they are 0? Then x doesn't have to be 1. x can be pretty much anything, right? So then we're just going to talk about the domain. Let's check it out. So that's why we need to check. But x equals 1 is definitely a valid solution, but it could be included in the set of positive real numbers, right? So I'm going to write this log a over log 10 equals log 10. Is this true? I don't know. I'm going to check it out. Let's go ahead and cross multiply log e equals ln 10 times log 10. And then we can turn everything into ln actually, like log e can be written as ln 10 I'm sorry, ln e I meant. Log e can be written as ln e over ln 10. Again, I'm using change of base. This is base 10, by the way. 
this is base e and this is base 10 right and log 10 is 1 by the way you can totally forget about it so the question basically comes down to is log e the same as ln 10 and the answer is no because when you cross multiply you get ln 10 times ln 10 ln 10 squared and ln 10 squared does not equal ln e because ln e is equal to 1 but this is not true at all what does that mean your constant cannot be 0 so x equals 1 is the only solution for this equation make sense I hope so so what did we do we logged both sides and then solve but put everything on the same side and change of base formula is super duper important let's call it Cobb change of base don't forget it's very important okay this is the formula right here cool now second method let's go ahead and talk about an alternative approach and then we'll finish up with that and I'll show you a graph at the end like I said earlier right so we have what, what was the problem 10 to the power or e to the power yes it started with e e to the log x equals 10 to the power ln x instead of logging both sides let's go ahead and do the following let's use substitution how about that I want to replace log x with something how about t t is a good variable right so this gives me e to the power t equals what what is ln x if log x is equal to t right let's go ahead and write this down log x is t this means x is 10 to the power t and ln x is ln 10 to the power t and that is just t times ln 10. So let's go ahead and replace ln x with t times ln 10. This is going to give us 10 to the power ln x which is 10 to the power t ln 10. Now we got the same exponent. Yay! Awesome! Beautiful! And you can do the following. I can write this as e to the t and this one as 10 to the power ln 10 to the power t. Let's call this number a. So we have e to the t equals a to the t. Don't say a equals e because a is not e in this case. Anyways, if this is confusing, forget about it. So here's my point. My point is you have the same exponent but different bases. These are different bases. This can only be true if they're both equal to 1. In other words, if t is equal to 0, Wait a minute, what is that supposed to mean? e to the power 0 is the same as 10 to the power ln 10 to the power 0 because they're both equal to 1. Make sense? It should make sense, hopefully. But we're not looking for t. Where does t come from? Who brought the t? I didn't. Well, maybe I brought some coffee. t equals 0 means what? What is t? Log x. Yay. Log x equals 0. And that implies x equals, did I say x? I meant x x equals 1 because log 1 is always 0. Let me show you the graph real quick. Yay! These are interesting graphs. I find this graph really interesting and there's one thing very interesting about these functions. Let's see if you're going to be able to spot that. These functions are related. e to the power log x and 10 to the power ln x. And the only solution is at 1 comma 1 which means x equals and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Next, I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.